All right, this is a <clears throat> video uh, thank you to uh, W Tam. Um, he that's his channel on YouTube, and um, I also uh, know him as Paul. But super nice guy helped me out last uh, about two years ago. This is the second summer now um, that I've had had his uh, his uh, windmill uh, uh, alternator generator. And I wanted to show him that I, I did finally get it up. I got it up probably about a month ago. It's sitting at about 17 feet. And it doesn't show it spinning real fast, but it's booking right now. So, I mean, there's corn right there. The wind's coming over all that corn. There's got to be about 200 acres of nothing but wind coming, coming over that corn. So, it's very windy here all the time. Um, have three guide wires or guy wires and I got them cemented in with turnbuckles to hold up the pipe um, I put in a, a T and then a and then a a, a nipple and a, um, a 90 and I'm going to add another pipe for these wires coming down um, the base is also concreted in um, Probably about say eight bags of concrete in there. Um, all three sides are anchored. Let me show you. There you go. Um, so it's it's moving right along. Uh, we're actually I, I today I went ahead and just put in a little cheapo uh, radio so we could listen to something out here. Um, and a cheapo uh, little uh, uh, inverter. <clears throat> so, the inverter, then I had the kilowatt meter just to look at it, just for shits and giggles. Um, right now I got two batteries on it, but I have another two in the, in the barn. This is the, the uh, charger for the um, uh, Missouri Solar Wind. Uh, Missouri Solar and Wind. Um, I also bought this little Scorpion. It's supposed to tell me the volts and amps coming off of the windmill. At least that's why I bought it. And um, either I don't have it hooked up right or something because it's just showing it's showing volts and amps, but I, I believe it's taking it right off of the uh, battery. The power lead comes in, goes into the <clears throat> Scorpion. And there it goes in the power supply there or the I don't know I guess it's a switch so it can switch um, can switch it to a dump load or charge you see the line coming off that goes right to the battery so it's a, it's a mess right now in here but you know it was just a and I got a little 20 20 watt solar um, panel up there on the roof it's not much but it's probably running that radio. That radio, from what I under, from what that kilowatt says, is only using about five watts. So, anyway, again, this was a great big thank you. Super nice guy. Met a lot of nice people on YouTube. Paul's definitely one of them. He's really a kind-hearted gentleman. So, uh, what we plan on doing with this is uh, I'm not going to use this big thing down here but I'm gonna probably build a smaller one well I am gonna build a smaller one because this is a like a pig farrowing hut um, that I had built last year worked great I'm gonna do it again so I'm gonna build two more and we have four pigs that are pregnant and um, this is more or less for the winter time to heat water things like that out here on the farm because we don't have uh, any power connections or or a cable or, or anything like that. There's cable out by the road, but no power out by the road. Get that one. I don't. I don't. I don't. But um, so I'll just show you around a little bit to the farm and kind of see. Here's one of our little pigs. This is short stuff or sh short fry. Hey, baby. Hey. Hi. Hi. Hi, buddy. He weighs about a hundred and maybe a hundred and fifty right now. 
they don't look like it but they, they they're pretty heavy on the hoof um, and of course he's eating up vegetables and all kinds of stuff his water he's got a little place back there he stays in and I'll show you some of the some of the turkeys and stuff and chickens and quail and truckers and got a bunch of of uh, fowl, water, or uh, chicken birds, I guess. Here's some bob white quail. Different types of quail, I guess, in there. In this cage. There's got to be about, I don't know, maybe, maybe ten of them in here. They're so small, you can stick a bazillion in. You can't see in there. Okay. Then over here we have some chickens that my girlfriend hatched out of the I can't even tell if you, yeah, you can see them. Um, some chickens that were hatched out at home. And uh, they're they're doing well. They're pretty much feathered out, so they're here at the farm. And uh, this is a dorking rooster. They're really pretty birds, but they're very docile. And uh, just about anything can come and grab them and take them away. They're not a, they're not a real, the breed isn't a real fighting breed. Now, in here is a chicken coop, and we've been fighting some rats. They're in here around the edges and stuff. They come in, they grab food and stuff, and they will attack your chickens. But there's a, you know, a nesting pole or a pole there, and we're, we got some nesting boxes at the auction we're going to put up probably on this wall. And uh, I don't know what we're going to do with this floor yet. Whether we're going to leave it like this and just fight the fight the rats or or if we're going to concrete it or stone it or stoning they'll come through the stone too so i don't know they'll probably burrow underneath the concrete and screw that up it's one of those things here's a couple of the turkeys that we have these are um they're um I don't know what kind of turkeys they are i think they're a palm to tell you the truth even though they don't look like palm to me um let's see we'll go around this way you know not a whole lot we get waste at that farm we had a small calf that was we got it in an auction and it didn't quite make it so we're tanning out the skin and we're going to use that as a i don't know my girlfriend said it was a shame to waste it so she took it and she's doing something with it here's some more now these are the japanese katernix quail and uh these guys have like little boo-boos i don't know if you can see them yeah there's one a couple in there if you can see that or not i don't know um and of course this guy right here is hiding and that guy down there is hiding uh, come on over to the chuckers and then we'll show you the the big pigs and then we have cows in the back so these are chuckers and I guess around here if you if you put them out on the ground they get some sort of a worm that affects their brain or something any day that's what we've been told if anybody knows anything different on it please let me know we live in uh, upstate New York uh, around the Rochester area so um, that if that helps geologically uh, to know whether they would get a brain worm or not I don't know um, then back in here I'll show you but I'm not gonna go too close that in that corner is a guinea a guinea hen and she's laying on a bunch of eggs and hopefully she'll hatch those out but we'll see my girlfriend's got uh, some of the eggs at home she's been hatching them out in the uh, incubator at home and it seems to be working pretty well but I'd always rather have it naturally done than than uh, than us doing it. And I don't know if you can see him, but that's her boyfriend way over there. Uh, I don't know if you can see him or not. He's got the white head. Let me see. Can I zoom this? I don't think I can zoom it. I'm gonna go over there and show you though. Uh, 
but he's starting to walk away there. I think you can kind of see him now. Anyways, he's right in the center. He's kind of walking over there. That's her boyfriend. And uh, I got the boys over there with the tractor. And we're making a tire hut for the pigs because uh, we have four of them pregnant. And we're going to make a tire hut for, uh, for birthing. Then I have the one that has the batteries in it. And we got to make two more. That is one of the pigs over there eating. She weighs about 600 pounds. So, let me show you over here now. Got a lot of roosters around here. The other thing I bought at the auction was one of those defeathering things, so that should help <laughs> with some of the rooster population. I'm just use them for food. And that's that's baby right there. She's pregnant. She's going to probably drop here pretty quick. And that over there, that big guy is called Rexter. And um, that's kind of muddy sloppy right there. I don't want to walk through it. But anyways, that girl right over there is Beulah. So take you over here. I'll show you Mama. Mama's so cool. Ugh. We'll go say hi to Mama. But anyways, like I said, I wanted to thank uh, W. Tam again. Uh, just, you know, really, really started me off in this. I was talking to him two years ago about maybe if he knew something. And and he said he didn't have a whole lot of wind by his house. And that if I wanted that, he would send it off to me. And by God, he did. I'll tell you what, really got me into thinking about alternative energy and you know and here at the farm it's, whoa there's i was just showing you little pigs but they must have got scared i moved my hand too fast hi baby hi so she's back and there's the other one I don't know, something spooked him all right so mama's making you a new home so especially with uh you know just trying to heat up a little water and i understand that it takes a lot to heat up water those you know the elements heating water is it's hard where'd she go she was oh she's over here in this pit now let me go say hi we uh we're feeding them right now they just had some bread and they get about i don't know geez 18 times five boxes of bread we have food brought in the uh the uh, stores, when their bread and stuff starts to go bad, um, made a deal with them that we would take it all. Um, and then they don't have to uh, put it in a landfill. But there's Mama. She's a big girl. She's getting close. Hey, Mama! Hey, Mama! Hey! 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 Good girl. Good girl. Good girl, yeah. Okay. And this is Bertha. Now, I didn't name Bertha or Beulah. Those two names came with them when we got them. We picked them up in Minnesota. So, I want to talk about someplace cold. I lived in upstate New York. I thought it was cold. It ain't, it ain't nearly as cold as Minnesota. And there's Beulah. Or, uh, Bertha. I can't even keep those two. They look just alike, so. And then this is Bacon Bits. This guy is one of my favorites, but he has not been proven to... He's proven, but he hasn't... He just doesn't throw... So far, with the girls that he's gotten pregnant, they only throw about eight. Eight babies. Hi, buddy. Hi. Hi. Uh, he weighs probably closer to about seven, seven hundred, and these girls weigh about six a piece, maybe five to six. She weighs six easy. So, and uh, we have about an acre or so fenced in here, and this is all done uh, with uh, T-posts and hot wire, 
and the hot wire is done with uh, solar. We, we run all of our hot wire on solar and it has worked out wonderfully for about the last two years. The only problem is, is during the summertime, I mean winter time, uh, the, wind, the, the snow will ground down the fence. So this is one of the things that we're doing this year is we're going to put them into huts within the fence um, and and uh, and fence them in within the fence and then we're going to uh, um, you know when when the snow flies obviously the, the electric fence on the outside will be grounded but they'll be in a fenced in area and then when the snow starts to melt we'll get back out clean up around the fence and um, go ahead and let them back out into their field um, we just had all this cleared uh, with a dozer so it's about an acre or so that's cleared up that's another little hut that they had last year it's a top of a truck it's that hood scoop so that they get better gas mileage so <laughs> we used those last year I don't know if we're gonna use those this year or not they worked okay but just okay so we got to get the, get in there and burn all that. And, and uh, you guys want to be on YouTube? Huh? What? No? no. No. All right. All right. Well, in here we're going ahead and putting all this together. We're gonna have this is a second layer. I did the first layer last night. Got the boys doing the second layer, and uh, probably got to do at least two more layers, maybe even three. So. This is the second. Still working on it. They'll be here probably most of the day doing that. So, and we have the tractor to be able to scoop out. Took the topsoil off, off the top of the ground. And then I'm scooping out the. Uh, that's more of a sand clay mixture down below, and that's what they're packing into that. So, come back over here show you the uh, the electrical solar part which works really nice so anyways it's attached ground that lead right there right there is the ground goes down into the ground and that lead right there goes to the wire and then they're all attached and they do need to be tightened up, I see right now. But we're getting in and out of here with the tractors and stuff like that, so I'll just let it go for right now. But before I leave, I got to. So I'm going to turn it off for a second, and I'll, I'll turn it back on when I'm down there by the cows.